Welcome to Blue Marble Geographic's Ask the Experts. I'm Rachel Landry, and today I'm joined by my colleague Mackenzie Mills. Mackenzie is a technical content writer here at the company, and today she will be showing us how to model water level rise in Global Mapper. Now, Mackenzie, I've been using Global Mapper for quite some time, and I've never had the occasion to show or model water level rise in Global Mapper. Can you show us how to get that process started? Thank you, Rachel. So one way to show water level on some 3D data in Global Mapper is to simply enable the water level display in 2D and 3D view. Enabling this in 2D view, we can now see that our elevation terrain here is shaded with some water, filling a reservoir above the dam, and then the river below it. This is reflected on our terrain shader on the left. Opening the 3D view, we see the same effect across our 3D data. The reservoir above our dam is filled, and the area below the dam, the river, is filled to that same elevation of water. Perhaps a better way to model water level rise in Global Mapper is with the water level rise or flood simulation analysis tool. In this workspace, I have an area feature showing the um, bounds of our reservoir above the dam here. And with the digitizer tool, I'll go ahead and select that first. Next, from the analysis menu, I can open the simulate water level rise tool. This tool will trace the flow of water um, based on a specifically entered water level increase amount, and I can choose to increase the water level from my selected area feature or a specific elevation level. Here I'll raise the water level for this reservoir by 15 meters and increase the water level from this selected area that I have. Clicking OK, Global Mapper goes through a process similar to generating a watershed where the flow of water is traced from my selected area feature here um, up the slopes of my reservoir area um, to show us the new footprint of the water coverage if the water level were to be raised 15 meters here. As Global Mapper works through to fill depressions, we'll soon see a new layer in this workspace showing that increased water level. Here we have our new water level layer and turning off my original area feature, we have that new footprint for our reservoir at a higher water level here. What's the best way to model water level rise? Taking a look at a second scenario for this tool, we have a coastal area. So in this case, we'll raise the water level from a specific elevation, which would be sea level in our case. Turning off the imagery to reveal the underlying terrain, we see we have some ocean area, and then behind a little part of a town, we have some marsh area that also floods when the town or when the tide comes in. To model that tide in Global Mapper, I can again go to the analysis menu and open the simulate water level rise tool. Here I can create a new layer and raise the water level um, about two meters the average tide in this area. Instead of increasing the water level from a selected area, I'll choose to increase from a specific elevation, in our case, sea level, which is represented by zero meters. Clicking OK, Global Mapper processes through and traces the flow of that water as it rises from the sea level, filling our beach areas and then into the marsh behind a residential neighborhood here. Mackenzie, thank you so much for walking us through that workflow. For more information on Global Mapper, please visit bluemarblegeo.com today. And as always, thank you for joining us for Ask the Experts, and be sure to stay tuned for our next episode.